Hey YouTube, what's going on? Chris here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. Great to be here with you. I was reading on Cointelegraph here. I ran across a pretty interesting article and I want to share it with you guys. Remember I said I was going to try to add in some more articles from time to time. So this is a really good one that I came across. It just really makes you think about how deflationary Bitcoin truly is, guys, and how special this space is. So this is by Anna Alexandre. And it is on Cointelegraph.com, guys. And what it says is cryptocurrency broker client reportedly aims to acquire 25% of all Bitcoin supply. Now, listen to this. This is amazing, guys. Digital currency investment. Investment firm, and I'm sorry if I pronounce this wrong, Dadiani Syndicate has reportedly been approached by a wealthy client to buy as close to 25% of the Bitcoin supply as possible, Forbes reported on May 30th. The Dadiani Syndicate is a peer-to-peer -peer network where people trade between each other with cryptocurrency. The firm made news last year when it put 49% of Andy Warhol's 1980 Work 14 small electric chairs up for sale for Bitcoin coin and other digital currencies the firm's founder Alisa Dadiani reportedly claimed this is where it gets interesting guys one of our clients approached us and said they were interested in acquiring 25 percent of all the available Bitcoin there are a number of entities who want to dominate the market Dadiana said that acquiring a quarter of the current 17.7 million BTC supply, considering that many coins have been permanently lost, would not be possible without significantly affecting the market. eToro analyst Matty Greenspan stated, a buyer of this size is going to push the price up to make this kind of accumulation even that much more expensive. Continuing, now listen to this guys. Yet, even a greater number of coins are currently being held by hodlers who will not be willing to part with them for any price. Realistically speaking, there are probably less than 5 million coins actually circulating at the moment. And you know, guys, that's what I wanted to bring to you. Number one, you know how a lot of billionaires and, and multimillionaires are. They don't care what it is. It could be an old tire, but if there's only so many of them, and their friends and all these other people want that it's gonna drive up the price of that item guys and with Bitcoin there's so much backing Bitcoin and all the the fundamentals and the technology behind it and just the idea of Bitcoin but the fact guys that there may truly only be five million coins that are actu actually circulating right now so when people do talk about down the road you know could Bitcoin be at this price or that price guys Anything is possible in this space because there's so few bitcoins, and you have to realize that. I was watching a documentary on a guy, and I believe he threw away it was like 600 or 700 bitcoin, and they were on his computer on an old hard drive or whatever, and he got them when they were pennies, and he forgot about them. Now they're gone, and they're gone permanently. And that's what we have to realize, and that's the reason why I love this space, is for the simple fact that it's deflationary, guys. The government, they just print money and print money and it's all just a smoke screen. And as you can see, I was watching a show last night and I believe it was from the 70s guys, 70s or 80s, right in that time frame. And they said this guy, this thief stole $200,000 and they said now in, in our day and time frame, it would be the equivalent of $1.2 million. So think about how much inflation is hurting your overall purchasing power. Then you look at something like Bitcoin or Litecoin where we have this set supply guys and there's only so many in that circulating supply or that max supply and when people demand these things that price is going to rise then because if you want one you're going to have to buy it off someone who will say okay i'll release it for this price but you know who who knows what that price is going to be so this is just something that you really want to keep in the back of your head that you know there may not be that many bitcoins going around and even if you can get parts and pieces of them it, it could be very valuable down the road guys because i really do believe I, I i love gold and silver i'm a gold and silver bug and i really do believe that bitcoin is the gold 2.0 and litecoins the silver 2.0 i really believe that and they work hand in hand and i do believe as well that litecoin and bitcoin that ratio is out of whack just like gold and silver is out of whack right now i believe litecoin is very undervalued compared to where bitcoin's at and i do believe bitcoin obviously is very undervalued where it's at but i'm talking about the ratios there guys just like gold and silver silver so cheap right now you know guys and and i look at that as well because i think it's very smart to have precious metals in your portfolio as well precious metals guys land is very important things that 
there's only so much of and obviously that's cryptocurrency as well so just think about these things as i want to bring this to you quick i appreciate you being here with me today god bless each and every one of you and if you like these videos like like subscribe hit that notification bell god bless you all